apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one.
You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right, there are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. The line from here runs to the border with Holland and Belgium and forms part of the international network of services that operate across Europe. This particular train is a third generation intercity express built by Siemens in Germany for international operations. It is formed of eight cars and has a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Train Sim World allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the camera menu. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to West Germany. Prepare yourself for a high-speed ride on the world's first international railway line, linking Köln with Holland and Belgium. Experience the thrill of driving the highly modern ICE 3M electric high-speed train up to 250 km per hour, or take in the sights of the border region while riding the versatile BR442 Talent 2 articulated multiple unit. International Express or Tranquil Commuter Service, you set the pace. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, apply safety signage, place hazard cones and restock first aid points. Welcome to the Köln-Aachen high-speed line. 
welcome to driver training here at Aachen Depot. Here you will be taken through the operation of a BR442 Talent 2 electric multiple unit. During this brief introduction, we will go through the train preparation, critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. With power available, use the master switch to... The reverser determines the direction of travel. Now activate the pantograph so that it... Set the exterior lights for normal operation. Set the in... Finally disengage the parking brake. Use the combined power brake handle to apply power and get going. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Stop at Aachen Rote Erde, unguided this time, and see how you get on.